this is kind of what it looks like when it's done. Um, it's really cool. So inside of this is, is the bar of soap and it's got a built-in sort of washcloth. The wool is great because it wicks away moisture um, in between uses so it dries out. It makes the soap actually last um, quite a bit longer. And since it's wool, it's antibacterial naturally. So it's never gonna mold or anything like that. So these are really fun to make. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't always have a lot of time to make these, but when I do, like a super cold day like today, a lot of fun. So you can use any kind of soap. Um, what I found that works the best is um, what we call a rebatch soap. So after I make soap, I always have tons of scraps and stuff, and um, I will then collect all of that and then melt it down again and then pour it into, into a mold and that's how we get the, the rebatch. So this is also how we make our hippie hash. So um, there's, the nice thing about this for felt, for felting, is that it creates these kind of rough ridges which help the, um, the wool adhere to the, to the soap. So what we need for this is obviously our wool. Um, so this is the wool that we're going to use for our soaps. Um, so I just take different colors of strands of this and kind of piece it together. Um, you can do whatever colors you want. So right now I've got this kind of like chartreuse blue white kind of thing going on. And you just kind of piece it together however you want. It's, just, it's very therapeutic. And then we've got our chunks of soap here. And then basically we're just gonna, here's our soap. And then we're just gonna basically wrap that around. So I've done a few um, strands here and basically you just, and you can use different colors. This is, I love doing this, it's super fun. Um, and these, these would be great gifts for like gardeners, um, mechanics really like this too because it's all, it's all built in. It's a nice exfoliator, um, you don't need a washcloth um, and it keeps the soap dry in between use. So it's, it's really cool, it's a lot of fun. And they're pretty and everyone is different. Every, it's, they're all unique in how they're Then we would wrap the soap and then just take some, some pantyhose. Um, I get this at the thrift store. So uh, they always have tons of different, you know, it doesn't matter what color. Um, basically what this does is it just helps adhere the wool to the soap while we go through, while we go through the process. And I'll show you that in a minute. So once we get it in there, we just kind of tie it off like I did here. And this just keeps it all kind of nice and snug to the soap. And what we this is called wet, wet felting um, because it uses the water. Um, there's there's different types of felting, but for for soap, wet felting works the best. So we've got our hot water and we've got our ice cold water. And the way this works is on the wool, there's tiny little microscopic teeth that you can't see with a naked eye. But and what happens is plunge that into the hot water, it opens those little microscopic teeth, if you will, opens them up, helps it start, and then it starts to contract. And then as soon as you get some friction going, you pop it into the cold water and that immediately, that cold water shock, immediately closes those teeth and makes it adhere to the soap. So that's the process. Um, doesn't really take a huge amount of time. So we're just gonna take one of ours that I've got here, I'll show you. And then we're just gonna plunge it into the hot water. It's really hot, I should put gloves on. Um, and then you're just gonna work up, you're literally gonna wash your hands. <laughs> this is great for kids, great for adults with really dirty hands, because um, your hands will be super clean and super soft when you're, when you're done doing this project. But anyways, so we're just gonna keep plunging it and working up a lather, and the soap lather actually helps as well. It helps it adhere and get a nice, friction going here. I think this one, yeah, this one is our beach balm scent. It's one that we use for some of the, for the Great Lakes water wonderland soap. Then we plunge it into the cold. 
rinse it off a little bit, and that just shocks it. So you might want to leave it kind of hang there for a second. You could do another one. And just you really want to work some friction. So when you see it starts to suds up, you kind of know that you're you've gotten through to that soap layer. You can't go to Target and Walmart and get something like this. Into the cold, rinse it off a little. So then once that's done, you could you could do it again. You could hit it again. It looks like that's pretty good though. I'm gonna put it on our little drying rack. And what I usually do to help the drying process, just for us, because we um, we want to speed things up a little bit, um, is I put it in a low oven for about two hours or so, just to help it dry out quicker. You could leave it out at room temperature, maybe in a sunny window or something, and it would do the same thing. All right, so it doesn't really take that long. Now, as you use the soap, obviously, you know, the soap will deplete, and you'll kind of be left with a chunk of, of wool after it's all done. And um, that can be used as a scrubby or um, whatever. All right, so that worked out pretty good. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's wet, so it's gonna, it'll dry. But you can kind of see how the color strands kind of come through. I love making this stuff so cool. So, work on some more here, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the, in the section, in the comment section. Thanks.